Now we learn about how to implement the code method. So first we'll see how to implement the get entity and the get entity set method. So what is the difference between get entity and get entity set? The get entity we have to use when you want to fetch the single record from the DP and get entity set we have to use when you want to select the multiple records from the DB. So we'll for get entity method to get trigger, it is mandatory to pass the primary key from the front end system. Suppose here in our table, here we have only one key field that is VPELN. So when you pass VPELN, system will trigger the get entity method. And if we have the multiple key fields, then we have to pass the all the key fields system to trigger the get entity method and to select the multiple record we have to go for the get entity sets there are different methods how to select data based on the non key fields that we'll see in the upcoming session so in this we'll learn those two methods get entity and get entity set so after registering and maintaining our service here in the runtime artifacts double click here on the DPC accession class. Go to change mode. Here at the bottom, we can see all the methods based on the entity set. Here I have only one entity set. So I can see for the SO header sets, create entity, delete, get, in, get entity set, and the update entity. So those methods are repeated for each and every entity set. So first we implement the get entity, put a cursor here. And if you're not in the change mode, first click change mode. And here click on the redefine. Because the DPC accession class is an inherited class from the DPC class. That's why we are redefining the method here. Click on redefine. Remove all this predefined code from here. Now in the get entity method, our first job is to read the input values, which will be passed from the front end system. So to read the input values here, there's a table called it underscore key type of this type. You can copy this line type from here. We double click here for the so you can see two fields, one is name and second is value. The name is the name of the parameter, like VB, ELN, ER, data, etc. And the value will contain the value for say sort of number, data, etc. So our first job is to read the importing parameter with the IT as a key tag. And once we read the importing parameter, then based on that, we have to select the record from the database table and pass the record to the ER underscore entity. If you see here, this is the importing. Miss, those values will get from the front end system and is exporting. Miss, this structure system will return that. Now, what are the fields in this structure? For that, we can see here the TS underscore header. Yes, click save. So here you can see the TS underscore header is of type Z O V B A K because we have defined our structure based on this table structure and this is in the MPC that is the model recorder class which gives details of all the fields that are model. So what is our job to read the importing parameter value is in this table. So for that first let me define one local structure key tab value and I'm, I'm also defining one more variable to read the SO number VBELN of type VBELN. Now read the importing parameters. Suppose there are multiple key fields then you have to read the multiple key fields from this table. Read table it underscore key tab into my local structure 
with key name what is the name of my parameter this is a case sensitive so we have to give the exact same name which is there in our data model so here for this we have the VBE line only V capital remaining all in small so we have to read the values with the same type VB ELN and if let's say system has found some value using those parameter if value is not initial and if what we are doing we are reading the importing parameter with the field VB ELN and if the value is found always use the conversion exit alpha input so by chance if the leading zeros are not passed from the front end system system should identify the record so after reading the value first assign to our local variable vp eln equals to is underscore value here i am using the conversion exist alpha input Now based on this SO number, we will select the value from our table. Select single all from ZOVBAK, ZOVBAK into corresponding fields of and passing into the ER underscore entity. Into corresponding fields of ER underscore entity where VBLN equals to my lv underscore vbln seven check if any errors are there so no errors first activate so i will explain again what all activity we done in this so first i have read the parameter i can also key type with the parameter name vbln and if the value is found i am assigning the value to a local variable of type vbln then selecting the record from the table to the single structure here underscore entity. Now to debug, set a debugger external waypoint here because when we are doing the debugging for the OETA service, we have to set the external waypoint. Activate the service, go back. So here we can see this is in the black color because we have re implemented, redefined this method. Remaining all we can see in the light blue color. Go back. Now put as the service. Right click, click on maintain. Go to SAP Gateway Client. Select our entity set. Select the gate method. Now suppose if I am not passing any key field here, and if I execute system will execute the error 501 that is not implemented because we have implemented only get entity methods and that will get triggered only if you are passing the key field so how to pass the key field for that here we have to pass the SO number let's say 1 3 so this is how to pass the key field value get method execute so now we can see our debugger is triggered. Do I click here, I can also key type. You can see one value inside this VBLN. So if you observe here, even though I not pass the VBLN here, but this is the beauty of this framework system automatically identify the values. Okay, so now we are reading this value. This value is found, yes. This is the VBLN with the conversion is alpha input. Press effect. So this time we can see the status score is 200. This means that system has successfully triggered the head entity method and we can see the output. If you observe this date here, this is the XML format. You can see all the fields here. So this is how to implement the head entity method. And suppose 
in case we want to read the multiple record then we have to do that through the get entity set that we'll see in the next session so this is how about to implement the get entity method